Hi, I'm Benjamin Bogonko and I am an inspirational speaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about on how to answer this question, tell us about yourself. And I hope by the end of this video, you'll be able to be inspired on how to respond to this specific question whenever you are looking for a certain job. But above all, I hope that you'll be able to stand out among us all the candidates that will be looking for that job and also, of course, increase your chances in new job offers. But before I give you the four tips on how to answer this question, I'm going to talk about two very fundamental rules that you can employ every time you meet an employer who asks you this question. Rule number one, never talk about your personal or family stories. Every employer, whenever they are asking you this question, they're not interested about your past stories, your family and the challenges and the reasons or the mistakes why you're looking for that specific job. Rule number two, tell a story. What do I mean? Telling a story involves you speaking about a professional story, talking about your past job or jobs. And one of the most important thing about telling these specific stories is, remember, stories have beginnings, the middle part, and the end. In other words, in as much as you're going to talk about your past job stories, remember to make sure that your stories are very compelling, engaging, clear, and above all, complete. Engaging, compelling, clear, and complete. Now, let me share with you the four tips that you can use whenever you ask this question. Tip number one, tell a professional story. Talk about the past job from the first job that you began with. Talk about the job company, the job title, the duration that you're working there, and also talk about the major responsibilities that you are given in that specific job. For example, if it's a teacher looking for a, te a teaching job in another company, he or she will talk about like this. I started off my career as an English teacher in a high school and I worked there for more than three years. My major responsibilities were to set exams, to teach English and to enable students to be able to learn the four skills of language, listening, reading, writing, and speaking successfully and to prepare them for their national exams in future. Tip number two, tell professional stories with achievement. Tell professional stories with achievement. In every story that you're going to share to an employer, remember to talk about a specific achievement that you got or attained from the past jobs. And remember, achievements should always be seen. They should include some numbers. Your employer wants to see whatever you're saying can actually be verified, that what you did in the past can actually be seen and proved. For example, if you are a teacher and you worked in a high school, you can say, in my position as a teacher in that school, one of the most proud accomplishments or achievements is I was able to push the mean standard score of that school from number eight to number two and I made that school to become the top second school performing in English subject in that area for the first time after being in that position in the past eight or ten years. Rule number three in every time you're telling a story, remember to tell the employer that you already know the needs of that job. Tell the employer that you know the needs of this specific job that you want to be hired. If you know the needs and the requirements of the new job that you're going to be given, it will prepare the employer psychologically to know that you too are prepared 
for this specific job. For example, if you're looking for a teaching job, you could say, I understand that this specific company is looking for a qualified English teacher who can be able to teach students to attain these specific goals and needs in their learning language. And this only makes the employer to understand you are very much interested and ready to take up this job. Tip number four, very important. Remember to tell the employer why you're looking for that job and why you qualify amongst all the candidates to get that specific job. It's very important to tell the employer that amongst all the candidates that are specifically looking for that job, basing on your background experiences and achievements, you qualify to get that job. For example, you could say, overall, based on my background experiences and achievements as a teacher, I am confident that given this job, I'll be able to perform and provide all the needs and the requirements for this specific company, especially to the students and the learners who would like to learn English. I hope you will be able to pick up and use this, some of the tips that I've shared with you in the next job interview that you will be looking for or you'll find yourself in. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it to friends and family members. And I want to sincerely thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe, drop in a comment down there below on what you think about this video. And above all, I hope you have a fantastic and a beautiful day. Remember, smiling is the best gift you can ever have and give. <laughs> See you soon. Goodbye.